before the kids get out of school to go pick out cabinets, hopefully, for this building. thinking I'm gonna need to use and it's because this is the same style that is in my kitchen which is very close to where I'm doing the builds um, and they're fairly inexpensive so I'm thinking I'll probably get two of these and then let's see if they have I really wanted the drawers but it's too wide so let's go see what else we can buy okay so here are. I need one like this, but this is a 30 inch, 24 inch. This is what I want. So this is the portion that I am going to alter to turn into my son's desk. There's one other type that I wanted to look up here and they are, um, I think they're Omaha and they need to be assembled. So these come unfinished, ready for paint, but they're assembled. Um, but then there's the option of having unassembled ones, but they're easily put together and I don't know where they are. Okay, so these are the colors. They are all from Dunn Edwards Dura. It is a paint uh, that you get online and they are really cool. They give you these big old swatches that are peel and stick so you can kind of live with them in your space. So I want the color to, obviously this is a lot of just not grays and whites, so it's pretty neutral. I feel like this one, is way too light blue and this one's too like blue. I'm digging more of this where it's more of a gray undertone. So I am going to x this one and this one. And this one scares me because it's pretty dang dark. So that leaves us with these three. That better? I do. The boys are going to be right next to each other. Well.
Okay, so I took, I went and bought just a normal pine, um, one by 12, and I cut it down to 35 inches, which is how tall um, my built-ins are. So now I am going to run them through the table saw to kerf them. Never done this before, so let's see if it works. Okay, so you could see here, I started out over here and I kind of have been guessing. So these ones are, I moved over and left thicker gaps. Then I started leaving smaller gaps and that worked better. But then I started going even deeper in my cut and they're bending a lot more. So I am gonna go back and run each one of the table saw through each of these to be the same depth as this, and then we'll see if I can bend this without it breaking. Pray for me. Goal is to somehow connect it here. Okay, so I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I put, I'm just going to put a bunch of wood glue in here all i mean obviously without the rhyme or reason i don't have like a specific angle i'm going for i just know i want it to be round so i'm using my clamps and i'm hoping so i i know i broke it over here already I'm hoping I can, I can fix that. And I wanna just see if I can squeeze it together. To make a 90 degree, because I want this to be flat. But this is proving to be the more difficult side because I broke it. And I don't know if I have any more clamps. Oh shit, I just made another one pop.
close so we're gonna leave it like that so once this joint has time to kind of join I will then bend this so that it's going there and be able to attach it there and I'll add in another board That knot couldn't be in the worst place. We'll fix it. Don't ruin the rest. So we removed that. Okay, we'll put that back in there. 
a nice trim piece will just be fine. Stupid thing. 